This is an application can, that can track mileage between store locations. I happen to use Starbucks because I found a wonderful CSV file online that gave me the latitude, longitude, and address information. So what we've got here are two tables. We have a Starbucks location, and we also have a parent record. Now this parent record is really, there's only one record up here. And the whole purpose of this record is whenever I find a location I want, I want to save it and an automation will paint the local um, latitude and longitude of the local reference up into the parent and every single location then has the location that's being asked for and it can calculate the distance um, in miles between the two. So let's go in here and go down and look in New Hampshire and what we have are how many locations? There are 29 locations. I'm going to clear the flags here, clear the new and updated flags here, there. And I'm looking for Concord, New Hampshire. So I'm going to edit this record. And you can see down below here the latitude and longitude of the home. And if I said that I would like to do this at, uh, let's say, um, 50 miles from the home base and hit save, what this is doing in the background is that this, this record has sent its home value up to the parent. And by lookup field, this is being brought down into every other record. Now, what does that do? It allows us to measure the distance between this location and this location. And as we look down below here, we said for 50 miles. So we have 47 locations. And you can see it starts at 0, 17 miles, 18 miles, 20 miles, and right down to, but not including or excluding uh, or going over 50 miles. So uh, let's, let's change this a little bit. Let's edit this, and we're going to put it into 20. So I'll say I'd like this to be 20 miles. And then you'll notice that the calculations will be different now, and it will show us only up to 20 miles. And of course, the, the app is also doing the mapping component here. So how did we go about doing that? Well, the very first thing we did was by passing the latitude and longitude um, up and down here, we can then measure the distance between this one and this one. And let's use one that exists. There's one that's 17 miles here. So let's edit this. So we have a different location for our home. So we have our home. And now this is the destination that's brought down by lookup field from above. And here's the mileage. So we can edit this and track what the home versus destination is, and it comes up with the distance in the calculation. So we then said, well, we had a destination in mind. The original one was to look for anything under 20 miles, right? And you can see by lookup, we also are bringing this down here. So we have the, the, the benchmark from which we have to measure whether this checkbox is going to be checked. Is this less than or equal to this? And if we look inside here, it's a simple um, formula that just says the miles are less than or, great or equal to whatever the parent has asked of us, right? And then that's checked. Well, the benefit of having that checked is that we can now embed a report that shows all of the locations um, based upon whether this is checked. So this is a report and we just right click and edit this and we say, well, anything that's within range, that's the checkbox, wherever this matches um, the within range of the same table. Notice that we're looking at the same table. So we're looking at ourselves to find any record that has that checkbox into it. And by doing that, and we did that both for an embedded table report right here, but also for um, this here, the uh, embedded uh, map. So let's find something else and we'll come down. Let's go to um, California has many Starbucks locations. We'll pick one here in Los Angeles and we're going to say for five miles in, in, the, in a circumference around here. So we'll say five, five miles. And when I save this, an automation fires and it takes the local value. Let's see how many there are. 
there are none within five miles. I, let's let's be a little more aggressive and put ten miles in here. We should find something that's within ten miles and save. Okay, the value of this, as you can see, this latitude and longitude are passed up to the parent. Now it compares it against everything. And you can see one, two, three. Um, oh, I guess there were some in here. Five. There's quite a few of them within distance. And then 10. And we're up to 10. And of course, there's our map up above that allows us to be able to find those different locations. And if we wish to, we can come up and just click on those. And it takes us to that other location. Um, so that's a, uh, a way of tracking that. Let's take a look at the automation that makes that happen. So I'm going to come down here and we'll go into the automations. So send the latitude, longitude, and mileage up to the parent. And so when we um, edit this here, it says whenever the record has been added or modified in that location tables, and the within miles has had some kind of change to it, what we want to do is modify the records uh, in the parent. So we go up and say send it into the field called within miles, latitude, and longitude, these values from the child. And then what we've got is the relationship between these two. And let's take a look at this. This is a permanent relationship. And there's only one parent up here. And it's got the record ID of one. And you can see it passes this back down for the destination. Well, how does it always pass it down to the children? Well, the related parent is actually a formula. And it's not a complex formula. It's just the number one, which matches that single record up above. And that means that every time that you push something up to the parent, every Starbucks location knows who's asking for it and what the co coordinates of the asking is and compares them and calculates the miles and checks the checkbox if it's within range. So kind of a fun application uh, came out of one of our webinars. Uh, we cover things like this in our webinars. You're welcome to join us. We Monday through Friday. Office hours are held at 1 p.m. Eastern time and you can um, register and find the link on our corporate website.